What is happening today, people? Uh, today, we are out here. We're trying to get out before the rain starts, and I'm out here with my buddy Brett right here behind me. We'd like to do a catch and cook. Got some blue crabs, some sand fleas, and I've got the dolphin tour boat right here behind me. Let's see if anybody waves. How are y'all doing? Okay, get more waves than normal. Wow, that's like 10 or 15 waves. Uh, so anyways, you guys, we're gonna make our way out to the ocean, trying to beat the rain here. I'm gonna put the camera down, and we're gonna start getting some lines in the water and hopefully start catching some fish. Hopefully we can do a nice little catch and cook for you guys today, show you guys a little bit different recipes and different ways of preparing these fish. Okay, here we go. All right, y'all, so this is what we're fishing with today. Uh, I've got some weights. Whoa, uh, there goes one. But we've got these little uh, egg weights, and then we're gonna be using some very small hooks right here, and then we've got blue crabs, sand fleas, and we're gonna set up a little, some different uh, setups here. Keep coming, right here. That's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Glass minnows are crazy, aren't they? What's that? These glass minnows are like right here. Oh yeah. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. It's a good one. It's a black drum. That's a black drum. What's their minimum size? That's a black drum. And if this thing measures out to keeper size, you going home. 16. All right, y'all, there it is. Orange tiger. What a cool color. Show enough. Fish. Sun. What do we have here? That's a flounder. Come in here. Y'all, this orange tiger. I wish we were in Georgia. These would all be legal flounder. Getting closer, getting closer. Flounder number four or five of the day. We need bigger. All right, you guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit. Oh man, about how to fish this uh, Berkeley gulp uh, for flounder. And it's, very easy it's just a little bit kind of more like slower and you got to be patient with it um, pretty much what you want to do is just make sure that your bait is always in contact with the bottom um, you also want to kind of like minimize on the amount of slack you have in your line that's a fish oh um, you always want to have like tension in your line but um, you want your bait to be on the bottom. So that way when you feel that little tap, you can set the hook. Um, oh man, he picked it up right when I was reeling it in. Um, so really, as long as you just make sure that your bait is on the bottom, I'm fishing a 3 8 ounce jig head and all I'm doing is I'm just hopping it. That fish picked it up right there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just literally just hopping it off the bottom. These are not like big like kind of uh, Actions that I'm making with my rod uh, These are just small little hops And all we're doing is we're just imitating like a minnow or a bait fish kind of just bouncing and struggling on the bottom and the flounder cannot resist it There's probably 30 flounder right here. Yeah, just have one. There we go. These are a little flounder, but they're definitely fun. And I just want to show you guys. Uh, right now we have like a, a we so right now we have a small class of flounder that's coming in top. Super super cool. 
So what they're doing is this flounder is, these flounder, they lay flat on the sand, just like this. And then when a bait comes by, as you see how they swim, he'll like, he'll swim up and, and gulp it just like that. So that's why we just want to keep our bait right on the bottom. So anyways, let's catch a bigger one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fish. Oh, that feels a little bigger. Yes. You always want to keep tension on your fish when you're reeling it in. That's a bigger flounder. Not a keeper, but close. close. We're getting close. All right, y'all. A little bigger, be a keeper in some states, but not in Virginia. Fun fish. Oh, here we go. Yeah, double. This is a good one, too. Trout. That is a trout. You have a trout. That is a speckled trout. Dude, this is a good one. Yeah, look. Oh, oh my god. Oh, son. That's our dinner. Oh, he's barely hooked, bro. Oh, just get him in the Don't swing him? Bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, John caught his nice keeper. Check that thing out. <laughs> Still green. I had to fish it slow. Slow Almost and low. dead sticked it. Look at that. Dude, that is sick. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I pretty nice much sketch. dead sticked it. I didn't even move the bait and I felt the bump. That's really? A nice one, yeah. Barely moving it. Barely moving it. Yeah. I think the boat drifting, I drug it. I drug the bait along and then I felt the bump. Dang. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Yeah. He's coming home for dinner. He's definitely coming home. He's going yeah. right in our Yeti. Yes, sir. <laughs> in the cool. Baby. Okay, so here we are back at my house. John and I, we had an awesome day fishing. It was actually two days of fishing with two of my really good friends, John and Brett. So what I wanted to do for you guys is, you know, show you guys kind of like two different recipes, one for flounder. And then actually the one that I'm really most excited about is the black drum on the half shell. And on the half shell means you're just really cooking it with the skin on. Black drum, red drum, tastes very similar, obviously very similar fish species. I'm gonna get these fish out of, as you can see, we actually upgraded. We have a Yeti cooler. No longer do we have a 7-Eleven styrofoam cooler. So now we're legit. This is actually thanks to my parents. So this video is sponsored by my mom and dad. So thank you guys for hooking us up with the nice Yeti cooler. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I got my fish right here and John is here. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna get right to it. We actually, uh, so we gutted the fish last night. And you guys uh, catch your fish and you put it on ice. If you're putting it on ice for like more than a day, then you want to gut it. And how you gut it is really easy. You just cut it like so. You you cut it right here. There's like a little hole, and it's pretty much its butt. And then you cut it like straight. Like so, you're just gonna cut it all the way up to the chin. And then as you can see in through there we gutted the fish. Super easy. You just put your hand in there or with the paper towel if you don't want to use your hand and you just rip their kind of intestines and their yeah. entrails out. All right y'all so the black drum we're going to show you guys we're going to cook it on the half shell tonight and this is actually like the best size black drum to eat. It's pretty much like the smaller the better. The bigger ones they get actually some worms inside of them and the meat's just actually not as good as some of the smaller ones. So this was like perfect size. It's a good piece of meat. I usually hate cutting towards my hand. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about it, but as long as you're doing it safely and slowly, then you're fine. That is a nice piece of meat right there. Voila. So there it is. That's one of our fillets right there. And when you guys cook it on the half shell, again, that's all it means. You're just leaving the skin on. So we're gonna leave it like this, and then we're gonna continue on. We're gonna clean up the other piece of it.
All right, first step we're gonna do is we're gonna give these fish a good rinse, both sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my hand down, not against the grain like that, because that's gonna take off all the scales. That's gonna kind of defeat the purpose. That's just gonna pretty much take the skin off. So half shell, we want the skin to stay on. So I'm just gonna rub my hand down it and just kind of take off any of the loose scales because we don't, we don't want them in our meat. And just give it a good rinse. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pat it like that to dry it. That is a piece of black drum that is ready to be cooked. Here it is, flounder black drum. We're gonna season these fish and then we're gonna throw them. We, so we set our oven on bake 350. All we're gonna do, pretty much at this point, you guys, you can't mess up. You can season these fish however the heck you want. I don't care. Butter, um, you know, lemon, anything you want. I wish we had some of that deer meat for dinner. What is that, Everglades seasoning? Okay, so this is what we're gonna use today. I pulled out basil, paprika, oregano, pepper, some black pepper, gotta have that, and got some Old Bay. So pretty much we're just gonna go ahead and go to town. Old Bay, next is gonna be some paprika. Give it a little spice to it. Not too much, just a little bit. And then we're gonna do oregano. Can't go wrong with pepper. All right, you guys, so John actually just gave me this tip. Take a spoon, take the back of the spoon and pat it. So then that way, when you cook your fish, you let the spices kind of sit in the meat. So that's a good tip, dude. Some lemon juice. Yeah, I'm cheap. I don't have lemons on me right now. I would prefer to have fresh squeezed lemon, but this will do the trick. All right, there's our black drum on the half shell, ready to be cooked. I cannot wait to eat this. There it is. Black drum, half shell, flounder. Put it in the oven and do not overcook it. <laughs> it's gonna get one shot. <laughs> okay, here we go. So the fish is done. We've got some of the flounder, some of the smaller flounder that was cooking, cooking, already cooked. Here it is. Boom. Boom shakalaka. The money shot. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Let's get a close up. Look at that, fellas. You guys want to please your lady? You want to impress the ladies? I know I say that on every catch and cook. That's how you do it. Right the there. The ladies want to make food for Right them. there. There it is. Flounder right here. Black chum right here on the half shell. Here it is. Boom. Cheers. Black drum. So there's John's right there. It just came right off of the skin. And yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, so when you guys are eating it with the black drum and the red drum for that matter. Um, you probably don't want to eat this skin because it's very thick. There it is, y'all. Black drum flounder. Boom. What did I just eat? Black drum. What else black you got to say, John? It's good. The bomb. Yeah. John called think, the big flounder. I think I put black, black drum over flounder. You would? Yeah. You do think it's kind of like a bone-in ribeye? Like, not... Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that nostalgia right. of like eating a bone-in type right. so meat, the bone, like red meat. When you cook a ribeye with the bone-in, it you get the flavor from the bone, right? Right, right. And so so it's the same thing with, with the fish's skin. There, there's actually a lot of fat uh, right next to the skin. Right. Fat is flavor. Yeah, so it does add a little bit more flavor. Yeah, absolutely. So, black drum, flounder, there it is. You guys try that. Christy's trying to feed me watermelon. We're gonna leave a link in the description below of all of our ingredients and everything that we use to catch our fish. All right, y'all, there it is. Thanks for watching. You guys leave some comments below. So you guys comment below if y'all wanna see some other ways that we prepare some fish, maybe some other fish that you guys want us to catch. And yeah, you guys, thank you, thank you so much for your support on our YouTube channel and all these videos. We really, really appreciate it. It really helps. It helps us because now we're putting out a lot of content and we just wanna keep giving back to you guys, keep fishing with you guys, and keep showing you guys some awesome fish. With that being said, y'all get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish. Peace out.